Hello and welcome to Social Wednesday with Evolutes. This is our ninth episode and today's guest is Neil Sutton. Neil is an editor of Canadian Security and SPNT News. He manages the content strategy for Annex Business Media Security Group, including print and digital magazines, website events, award programs, podcasts, and social media presence. Neil is also a board member for the Canadian Security Lifesaver Association, an organization that recognizes and celebrates the life-saving achievements of frontline security professionals across Canada. So thank you again, Neil, for being here. Well, thank you very much for inviting me. I appreciate it. So Social Wednesday is a series where guests play a game of 12 questions and have less than 10 seconds to answer. Neil has not seen the questions before and this is not rehearsed. So are you ready? Sure. I'm a bit nervous, but yeah, let's go for it. Okay, perfect. Question one. How would you describe yourself in three words? (laughs) Uh, How would I like to describe myself or how am I really? I don't know. I would say I'm loyal, hardworking, um, constantly looking for ways to improve myself. That's not a word. But Self-improvement. How's that? Self-improvement. Or lifelong learner. There you go. Perfect. All right. Number two. What is your favorite color? Uh, blue. Blue. Okay. See, that was not that hard. That was an easy one. <laughs> okay. Question three. What is the best career decision you've made? Ooh, the best career decision I've made. Um, I guess when I was in my late 20s, I got to a sort of fork in the road. And I was either going to go down the path of academia, uh, take another degree, or I was going to go and work full time. So I, I decided to uh, stop going to university and start working. And I, I guess that was probably the right path for me because it was, that's where I am today. How long did you spend in school? I took two degrees and I was going to do a third one, but then I decided, no, I'm going to go work instead. Mm-hmm. So I sort of had the same debate, but I did go for that third degree. <laughs> and then I'm like, all right, I need to get back to work. <laughs> Okay, question four. What motivates you? What motivates me? Lots of things motivate me. Um, deadlines motivate me because that's part of my job. Uh, coworkers trying to please my audience, do the right thing by them. Um, uh, my colleagues, lots of things get me going. Awesome. Five. What are you really good at that many might not know? What am I really good at? <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I used to fence at a fairly competitive level. What? Yeah. That's awesome. It's been a long time, but yeah, I used to be, I did it for my teens and most of my twenties. So we're in good hands. (laughs) Sure. (laughs) Do you have any pets? Uh, I did have a cat who unfortunately passed away in December. So uh, my kids have been after me to um, get another cat or adopt a dog or yeah, but we feel the loss of a pet around here. So uh, as the situation improves and as the pandemic allows, yeah, we'll be adopting another pet probably later this year. I'm team dog. So <laughs> <laughs> question seven, roughly how many articles do you publish annually? <sighs> me personally or collectively as a group? Let's say both. Honestly, that'd be very hard to, hard to ballpark it. When I was starting out in this uh, as a writer, I used to publish daily. Um, now, less frequently. So, mm, I don't know, probably about five to ten a month. Wow. Personally written by me, maybe about five a month, give or take. Eight. If you could learn another language, which one would it be? I could learn another language, which one would it be? Um, probably something I have absolutely no uh, knowledge of whatsoever, like Mandarin or Japanese or something like that. Do you speak any other languages other than English right now? Uh, competent in French, a little bit of German, but yeah, English is my go-to, I'm afraid. <laughs> Nine. Do you volunteer? I have volunteered. Um, I've volunteered for the Humane Society before, and I'm currently volunteering for the Canadian Security Life Service Association. Perfect. Which we'll dive deeper um, at the end of the question here. Um, question 10. Are you usually early or late? Early appointments or early in general? In general, like I for a meeting, are you usually the one that is early or the one that's always like, sorry, guys, I'm late? <laughs> I, I have I, I have a propensity for lateness, so I always strive to be early, so I'm usually early, just okay. because I try and overcompensate. 
at least you're aware of your strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Question 11. What are you most looking forward to post COVID? Ooh, um, probably spending more time with my kids outside of the house. So, um, taking them to the things we haven't been able to do for the last year, whether that's, you know, the aquarium or just, you know, uh, even just going to the mall, that feels like a, a treat these days, yeah. right? So <laughs> spending more time with my kids doing stuff that doesn't involve being at home or in front of the TV or things like that. That's good. I suggest the ROM. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I've been there. I enjoy yeah. the ROM as well. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, what is the last concert that you went to? last concert it's been, it feels like it's been so long <laughs> um i think it might have been a rush concert a couple of years ago yeah all right well that's it that concludes the question that's you it. Did very well yeah so wow. thank you so much for playing and what did you think of the game in questions uh it was i i thought you were going to ask me harder questions or more probing questions so i appreciate the softballs <laughs> Uh, no, I think it's good because as, as we discussed before we started recording, usually I'm on the other end of this and I'm the one asking the questions. So you put me in an interesting position. So uh, takeaway for me is uh, have empathy for the people that you're interviewing. Always. Ooh, I like, we have a moral of a story here. So that's good. So um, before we do end the episode, I would like you to share more about the initiative that you're a part of. As you've mentioned, one of the questions, the Canadian Security Lifesaver Association and why it is important. Sure, yeah, thanks for that. Um, so I was approached to be part of this association just over a year ago by one of the co-founders, David Solston. Uh, so it's an organization that recognizes the life-saving uh, measures that frontline security professionals take across the country, uh, which is you know, a, a very frequent occurrence. I don't think people are necessarily aware, of, especially outside the industry, of uh, the importance that frontline security professionals uh, play in our daily lives and helping people, whether it's uh, uh, intervention of a drug overdose or uh, just sort of intervening in a situation that could be potentially dangerous. So um, our next, um, I know, I think you're going to air this this coming Wednesday. So <laughs> our nominations next close on March 19th and we have a, a, an award every quarter. So if you missed this one, I would encourage you to nominate a uh, frontline security professional for the next one. All right. So yeah, this is coming out uh, March 17th. So they'll have a couple of days um, to send in their nominations as well. So thank you for sharing that, Neil. And this concludes episode nine of Social Wednesday with Evolutes. Stay tuned for the next episode. And in the meantime, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask our next guest or even recommend a guest for the series, comment below. Thanks again for watching and see you in two weeks. Thank you, Susanna. Thank you. Yay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>